this is Pinky, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to properly animate a material swap on your avatar. Now, to get started, there's going to be a quick disclaimer that if since VRChat is built on 2019.4, there's a bug with animating the slots, that being element 1 and element 3, also known as slot 2 and slot 4 inside of Blender. Now, the fix to this will be actually some blender work, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Um, if your avatar is only one material or like a lower amount, you probably don't need to worry about this. Uh, but for this example, I'm going to dive right into that. So to get started, we're going to click on our avatar. We're going to go to body, and we're going to click on the body here to find the mesh. And now we're going to click on here. We're going to show an explorer, and we are going to press Control C and copy this up here. Now we are going to head over to Blender. We're going to go to File, hit Import, go to FBX, and hit Control V, press Enter. And as you can see, we have our FBX here. We're going to hit Import, and it will import. Now we are going to get rid of all these other objects, press Delete, and now we should have our wicker right here. And so we're going to create two dummy materials on this wicker. So we're going to go over to this material section, and we are going to press the plus button, and we're going to press it one more time. And now we have two dummy materials. And we're going to click the new and we are going to rename this dummy and we are going to rename this one dummy two so we're going to make sure we click on that and rename it to dummy two and we're going to move these into the second and fourth slot so as you can see the second slot and the fourth slot are now occupied by these two dummy materials and now we're going to create a mesh for these to sit on so we're going to click on our avatar we're going to press tab and we are going to make sure we switch to the faces select tool and we are going to select two faces on our avatar. I'm going to choose two that are um, on either side. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be lined up, but I'm going to hit shift D to duplicate these. And for the example, I'm just going to put them above the head here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this face here. I'm going to go to dummy material one and I'm going to click assign. And now I'm going to click on the second slot here. I'm going to go to dummy two and click assign. Now to check if this worked, you can go to either one of those and click select. And if it highlights, that means you did it right. So now after we've done that, we are going to click on these two again, hold shift and click on the other. And then we're going to use the shrink tool to make them really small. And then we are just going to move them inside the head to hide them. Since these are just going to be dummy materials and dummy vertices. So now that that is done, we are going to make sure that we go out of object mode, we go back into edit mode, we press A to select everything on our avatar, and we're going to head over to mesh, we're going to go to sort elements, and we're going to go to sort by material, and we're going to make sure that this is set up properly, it looks good, we're going to click on the side, and now that all the materials are so sorted properly, this will export with no issues, so we're going to go to file, we're going to export, we're going to hit FBX here, and then we're going to paste that path back up here. We're going to click on our thing to override it. And now we're going to make sure we turn off bake armature er, animations and that we turn off add leaf bones other under armature. And we're going to click FBX all here for the scaling. And we are going to click export FBX. Now it's going to take a few seconds to just make sure that it's doing everything right. And if you can move it, you can head back over to unity. And now we're going to wait a few seconds for this to go through. And now that that is properly done, if we click on our avatar now, you can see that we have two slots added and it looks like stuff has been shifted around. So to counteract this, we're just going to go back to our avatar. We're going to go to where our um, vapor materials lie and we're just going to reapply some of them since some stuff got shifted around a little bit. So we are just going to drag and drop them where they need to go. That looks about right for now. Okay, so now that our avatar is back to normal and out of Blender properly, we are going to actually create the animation now. So we're going to click on our body and we're gonna scroll down to our FX layer here and we're gonna click here and we're gonna make sure we're hovering projects for it to highlight. And this, we're going to go back and we're going to drag this inside of our controller here. And now if you go to the animation tab, you should see all of these animations pop up. So we're going to scroll to the bottom here. We're going to create new clip. I'm going to call this swap. I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to click record. 
and I'm going to go ahead and drag the materials onto our avatar here. So as you can see, I'm just going to drag everything over and inside the head right here is the lashes and here is the mouth i'm not doing that properly there we go and now that that is done we can go back to the animation click stop and we can preview and unpreview to check that it works properly and as you can see there's no errors with uh, materials not swapping which means we've done this successfully so now the next step will be creating the actual animation so we're going to click on our avatar we're going to scroll down to the parameter list. We're going to make sure that we have this selected down here. We're going to click add and we're going to add a new bull and we're going to call it swap. And we are going to make sure that it's set the bull and we're going to make sure that it's saved because we want to make sure this saves at the end of each game. And so now that that is done, we're going to click on our avatar again. We're going to go to the animator. And we're going to go to parameters. We're going to click plus. We're going to go to bull. We're going to call it swap. Make sure that the names are identical. Now we're going to go to layers. I'm going to go to my empty state quickly. And your your empty state may be set up differently, but mine is set up like this. So I'm actually going to have to delete this animation from here. Don't worry. Your animation will still exist after. It just deletes it from this layer. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit this plus button. And we're going to call this swap. And we're going to make sure that the weight here is set to 1. And now inside of here, we are going to create a new state and it's going to be an empty and we're going to call this one off and then we're going to create another state here that is going to be an empty and we're going to call this on and now we're going to make transitions between these two we're going to make sure that this state here has our swap animation so right here swap and in this one we're going to make sure that this has an empty so I'm going to type empty and put it up here. If your avatar does not come with an empty clip, you can simply make one by doing the recording steps and then just calling it empty and making it do nothing. Anyways, we are now going to make the transitions. So over here, we're going to click plus. We're going to go to swap. And when swap is true, it will turn this on. And now we're going to create another state for swap. But when swap is false, it's going to turn off. And we're just going to set these to zero so that the animation is instant. And now after that is done, we're going to click on our body, or sorry, our character again. We're going to scroll down to menu, double click to open it up. I'm going to click create a new control here. You can choose where you want to put yours. I'm going to call this swap. And I'm going to make it a toggle. I'm going to make it use the swap bool. And now I'm going to pull up my gesture manager. I'm a quick little intermission here is, uh, as you saw from my animation I created here earlier, we have the empty state. Now I'm doing this instead of using another animation state to swap it to normal. And this is because my avatar uses something called right defaults. If you don't know whether or not your avatar uses right defaults, it may be a safer bet just to recreate another swap animation that swaps your avatar to the default colors. But for this example, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, to check whether or not it is, you can go up to VR Labs, go to Avatars 3.0, you drag your avatar into here, you go to the right default section down here, and if you scroll through this and everything is checked as uh, pos uh, positive on right defaults, then it means that your right defaults are on, which means that this will work for you. If otherwise you have mismatches, you will have to create a second animation. Uh, I just needed to put that there quickly. But now, if we go over to our gesture manager and we click enter play mode and we wait for it to load up, we go back to scene, we click expressions and we click swap and then we click it again, you can now see that we have a successful material swap on our avatar. Now, this has been a uh, tutorial on how to do a material swap and how to fix certain bugs within the Unity engine. Um, this has been Pinky. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good rest of your day.